Well, hi, it's Suzanne Franco with the Destination Wedding Site, and I wanted to give you guys a tutorial on my top 10 tips for wedding professionals using Pinterest for business. Okay, I'm going to get started here. My first tip, my tip number one, is to um, go take a really good look at your actual profile on Pinterest. I know that sounds really basic, and I'm not going to get into, you know, the basics of Pinterest except this tip where I really want you to go look because oftentimes we get started on a new social site and we just throw together you know real quick info and we move on and sometimes we don't go back and edit that or beef it up so just go back with a fresh set of eyes go look at your profile um, you know use keywords that would help um, your profile be found easier when people are searching don't make it real spammy. Don't, you know, just keyword spam it to death, but do make sure your main keywords are there and searchable. Um, add, you know, your domain, blog, Facebook, whatever else you want to add there. Um, but again, just go in and double check it. Just make sure that you have it filled out completely. And the other thing about the profiles is when most of us started on Pinterest, um, all they offered were individual accounts. So a lot of us were trying to do business using these personal accounts. Well, they now allow you to convert those personal accounts over to a business account. Um, and I suggest you do that. Now, in this tutorial, I'm not going to get into the details on how to do that, but there are plenty of great articles and tutorials. So just Google that, that you want to convert your Pinterest personal account to a business account, and you should be able to do that. And I suggest you go do that. So again, go tip number one. Um, make sure that you're double checking your profile, make sure it says everything you want it to say, get as many keywords in there without keyword stuffing, and make sure you have your clickable URL there uh, to refer business over to your website or blog. If you don't have a website or blog, you know, make sure you're putting Facebook there, Twitter account, always send them somewhere, LinkedIn, YouTube even, uh, don't just ever leave it blank, okay? So you're using the site for a reason, make sure you're fully utilizing it for business reasons. In other words, it's just a hobby. All right, we're going to move to tip number two, which is um, searching and following other pinners. Now, um, you know, again, this site, you know, if you've been using it a while, you may know how to use it, but sometimes you get to a new site, you're not sure what to do. But um, let's take a look at how you want to go find other pinners to follow. Now, you know, I'm going to go ahead and use wedding just because if you're on this um, tutorial, I'm going to assume that you're a wedding professional. So you want to go and connect with other wedding professionals, okay? Because when brides are looking, they're hopping from image to image. You want to be networking. You want to follow as many other wedding people as possible and get followed back by other wedding people so they're repinning your pins and etc. Now you'll see when you do this search for wedding, it's going to ask you, do you want pins, boards, or pinners? So in this circumstance, we want pinners. Now, um, you know, I don't stay completely on top of this. I've been real, real busy, but you just want to look down here. So I'm following most of these people already, but here we found a couple. Here's photography. So I would go in and follow Mary Wedding. You get the idea. Decorate my wed. So I won't get into, you know, making you watch me do every single one that's in there, but that's how I want you to go in and search for other pinners, follow them. And of course, a certain percentage of them are going to follow you back. Now, speaking of following back, I'm going to go back here to my own profile page. And um, somebody just asked me the other day, they said, I don't know how to follow people or know who's followed me. So go look here. These are your followers and here are the people you're following so we're going to click on this on followers and you're going to want to go in and uh, see who you want to follow back now there are many schools of thoughts you can just follow back everyone because it's just good networking to be all over the place and be following people um, you know sometimes you look down and you can tell um, if something's wedding related so that's you know probably something you for sure want to do her logo says weddings um, so you can just follow, you could mass follow everyone here. You can go look at each person. Now I want to bring up something. Um, I can't tell for sure. Kate doesn't have anything filled out here in her profile, but she's got a little spattering of everything. And even on wedding, she only says wedding. She's got 424 pins. Okay. 
So sometimes this is somebody who's actually planning their wedding and they're starting to get ideas and put them in here. I have people ask me over and over, that's great. I can find wedding vendors all day long on Pinterest, but I'm just not finding, you know, brides on here. Well, there's no surefire way to find brides on here, but this, this looks like a pretty good indicator that she's not on here promoting her business. And if she is, she really needs to watch this tutorial, right? But, um, you know, again, that's not, you know, you want to find brides as often as possible. This is wedding related for sure. Um, but again, you want to really be paying attention when you're on here. When you're curious, you don't know who somebody is, especially if it's just a name, click through there and you would be surprised at how many times I find that people are pinning to their wedding planning board. So that's going to be one quick way to find actual um, brides on here. But you still want to network with as many uh, other wedding professionals as possible. OK, so that's how you go follow back the people who are following you. Tip number four is the use of hashtags. Now, there's a main difference on Pinterest and using hashtags that I've seen on other uh, social, you know, sharing sites. Um, and the difference is this. Um, the hashtags on Pinterest, when you click on a clickable, the hashtag makes it the word clickable, okay? And when you click that hashtag word, it is going to give you a search result for any one who has mentioned that word, not necessarily anyone who's mentioned that word with a hashtag, okay? So like on Twitter, if you click a hashtag wedding, it's only going to bring you up search results for anyone else who has typed hashtag wedding. In this case, it would bring up anyone who's mentioned wedding with or without the hashtag. So let's go here and see if I can show you a quick example of that. Let's just go right here to these bouquets and let's take a look here. Okay, this is something I have repinned, and you can see that I went in and added these hashtags when I did that. So, for instance, the word bouquet. See how it's clickable because it's a hashtag. I'm going to click on that, and if you look up here, it's giving me a search result for pins for bouquet. And again, I could change that to boards or pinners, but right now we're going to look at pins, okay? So, when you look at these, um, let's go ahead and show you an example of, again, just to reiterate, use the hashtags as often as possible. In fact, let me just go back once, I'm sorry. Let me go back to this one and tell you that, you know, if you were repinning this and these words weren't here, I want you to go ahead and um, and add them okay so in fact let's go back to bouquet real quick and let me just show you that and um, and in fact it kind of leads right into my tip number five which is what to add um, when you repin so let's do that again I'm sorry let's do this real quick let's go in here and repin this one we're already on bridal wedding bouquets board for instance, I could add my URL right here, HTTP, always use the HTTP colon slash slash. The full URL, that's what makes it clickable. Let me get that in there real quick. Okay, so now you see that I could add the hashtag artificial butterfly wedding bouquet. Now, remember, these words still would have been searchable, but now they're also clickable. So, you know, you get a bride who's on here and she's looking at bouquets, she's going to click from here to there to there, and you want to make sure that you're taking full advantage of everything the site has to offer you. And I say go ahead and use the hashtags, make sure you're always searchable um, and that you're making things clickable. And, um, you, you know, use this URL responsibly. That's one thing I do want to touch on. Now, right now I've linked to my main page of my site, but if I knew I had an article or a post or anything to do with bouquets, um, if I had vendors on there that sold bouquets, I could link directly to that URL. I don't necessarily have to link to, to my homepage. So I say get creative, use this however you can, make sure you're driving traffic, 
and actually on here to create business. Now, a word of caution here. You can change this description to anything you want when you repin. But let's be professional. If someone else has their business name, a company name, or their link, please don't take that out. I, I think that's really bad business. It's okay to add yours. That's fine. But I, I suggest you don't take anything out that's giving someone else credit. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pin this. And just while we're here, you do realize you can click that, and it's going to send this pin out also to your Twitter stream that you have connected to your account. And, hey, while you're here doing it, why not go ahead and do that now here's a really good tip also this pin was also pinned to weddings butterflies before the i do oh darn it i lost my chance to show you that but that's a really good um time to i would go ahead and usually follow whoever else repinned that and has that pinned to their board that is where I find a lot of brides, okay? So I want you to hear me on that. You may think, oh, I don't know. It's just some Jane Doe that, that posted this. Well, listen, go click on that person. And again, that's oftentimes where you will find that board where it's actually a bride who pinned that bouquet because she liked it, okay? So pay attention as you're going through here. Yes, you know, you you might want to set aside a certain amount of time to click through these, but really pay attention when you're doing this, okay? Make sure that you're using your time effectively and efficiently while you're on here. Now, the next tip I want to show you is going to be tip number six, and it has to do with, um, you know, you probably already know about Pinterest. You can go to any other URL. You can use a toolbar. There's many different ways to actually upload on Pinterest. But when you upload from your hard drive, let me show you something real quick. Um, got some images here and let's just pick one and um, you might want to put that say under beach weddings okay I'm just doing this to show you guys again if you're going to be doing this you can even copy paste this domain in or keep it in a you know notepad open so you're not constantly typing and you want to double check your especially your links all the time, <laughs> make sure. So let's say beach, wedding. Um, <clears throat> that's all I'm going to say on that one for now, um, but I want to show you something real quick. So go ahead and add it to Twitter. That's fine. I'm going to upload it, but then I want you to see this tip. Go here and edit. Now, when you're uploading um, from a website somewhere, the link back to that image is always going to be here. But when you upload from your hard drive, there's nothing there. So I want you to go ahead and add your URL. Now, again, if I had an article or a post um, about beach weddings or that pertain to this, anything to do with my image, by all means, that's what I want to link to. But just to show you real quick, that that is a great tip. A lot of people don't realize that. You're uploading from your hard drive. And now that image doesn't link anywhere, so you're not giving it its full business boost. Okay, so tip number six, make sure you go add a URL link when you upload anything from your hard drive. Use that edit button. And then just, of course, go ahead and save that. Okay, tip number seven. We're going to go back to my page here. And tip number seven is to remember that you can use text images and infographics on Pinterest. And they're a hit, guys. They're, they're a hit. So let's just um, take a look and see what I have. Let's, for instance, let's take a look at this one. Um, so, you know, and I just did this up. I think it was on Photoshop. It's certainly nothing fancy, but it'll give you the idea of what I'm talking about. Um, wedding vendors, free marketing tips and ideas. Um, which if you're not familiar, I have a mailing list where I send out a lot of tips just like this one where I teach you. I'm an online marketing expert. I've been doing this for over 10 years and I can teach you a lot of tips and ideas on search engine optimization, email marketing, social media marketing, um, local Google places, all kinds of tips. And if you know what you want, uh, if you email me, then I do a tutorial on that. Um, so if you're not already, if we're not already connected and you're not on my mailing list, make sure you get on that list. I will make sure at the end of the video that you know how to do that. Okay, but what I want to show you is that 
right here in the description, okay, instead of linking directly to my main page, I have linked right to a page that is on my website here for wedding vendors, okay? So again, uh, think creatively anytime, for instance, if you write a really good article or say you've done um, a wedding recently and you've just uploaded all the images and done a blog post on that, <clears throat> excuse me, get creative <clears throat> on, the, um, on the way that you could do a text image to drive them back to that post and link directly to it. Don't always link to your main page. Make sure you're really thinking clearly about where you want to direct people. You could be doing one that's a uh, text image just on your Facebook fan page and then put that link and say, hey, you know, or hey, tweet, tweet, are we following each other on Twitter? Facebook, I really like you. You know, get creative, make up those. There are all kinds of really neat tools online, PicMonkey and um, Pinstamatic. There's some tools that if you're not great with graphics, they really help you out. Um, I'll add those to the end of this video also, okay? So that you know where you can go make some quick images with these free tools and they'll look professional. This one's, this one's okay. Um, but I just wanted to show you what I'm talking about. Oh, and infographics. So let's move on to that one because that's still part of tip number seven here. There are a lot of really, really great uh, infographics on Pinterest uh, pertaining to the wedding industry and I love them and guess what it doesn't matter that I love them brides love these so you really want to find them find a way to integrate them into your your own page I mean here's a neat one on let them eat cake it's a guide to wedding cake size and servings you don't think that wouldn't get a bride's attention that is cool guys okay now you know they've already branded this so again use this repin it you can see I added my <laughs> that and infographic you can search by infographic but if you're going to do that when you repin it make sure you add that infographic because people that are looking for them guess what more exposure for you okay so remember um, now if you can afford to have somebody or if you're really creative if you can make infographics give me a buzz <laughs> but also you know if not there there are sites out there that help you create them you can certainly hire them out that is a great marketing tip right there. If you can get a, a great wedding related infographic, they will go viral. It'll be really, really good traffic for you. OK, so that's tip number seven. Use text images and infographics. And you can see I just started a board here that was called words as pictures and I just plucked them all in there. But I could certainly go add the cake one to my cake board and I should do that. All right. Tip number eight. OK, this is a good one on um, search engine optimization and keywords on Pinterest. I've told you about your profile. You still want to use them searchably in your um, descriptions, but I'm seeing more and more Pinterest boards, okay, the boards themselves, not the pins, these boards ranking in Google. Pretty cool, huh? Um, I don't remember the exact city, but I was searching a city, um, and I put the, that city in the state and wedding venues. And guess what? About number three in Google three popped up a Pinterest board. OK, now I haven't had time to go back and double check, but I did go create one real similar to that. So I went and did one on San Clemente wedding venues. I haven't looked to see if I'm ranking, but I haven't done any backlinking or any SEO to it whatsoever. But, um, you know, I won't be surprised if I could actually, you know, rank this board pretty nice. So when you're naming your boards, I know you want to have fun with them, but in the back of your head also, you do really want to keep some keywords um, in mind when you're creating those boards. Um, so that's tip number eight. Tip number nine <laughs> is I always get asked, well, how do I get followers? I joined Pinterest and nothing's happening. Okay, so getting followers on Pinterest is real similar to any other um, social network. Yes, it's a little hard when you start out. Use the features they have that say they're going to search for friends on other um, networks. Do that. You might as well. But also you're going to have to ask people to follow you and you're going to go follow people. So that search feature I showed you, that's a starter. And then ask people to follow you. So, you know, go on Twitter and you know what, once a day or once a week. And hey, if you're not using Hootsuite or some way to schedule out your social media, you definitely need to get on my mailing list so that you can get those tips. But make sure that, you know, if it's once a day or twice a week, whatever you're comfortable with, 
that you're putting out to all your other followers, hey, are, are we following each other on Pinterest? Always offer to reciprocate. Chances are if they're on Pinterest, they're looking for more followers too. Hey, follow me on Pinterest, shoot me a message, and I'll follow you back too. So on Twitter, you can do that in your Twitter stream, or you could even do a um, an auto-direct message. People don't like auto-direct messages because the spammers were using it to sell junk, okay, to spam. But if you're using it for something like directing them to other social media, I have a huge success rate. I've never had anyone uh, message me or tell me that they don't like auto DMs or anything like that. The horror stories I hear because I'm not spamming. Okay. I'm saying, hey, let's go connect other places. Twitter only serves a certain purpose. It's 140 characters. Okay. So a lot of times people want to take that relationship and move it over to Facebook. And Pinterest is another place, especially for us wedding professionals. Same with Facebook. Do a status update a couple times a week, once a day. I don't care. Depends on your following and how responsive they are. But make sure you're asking them to let's follow each other on Pinterest. You want to add it to your email signature. Any place else where you're kind of pimping out your other social media profiles, make sure you're adding Pinterest to that. Okay, so go check your blog and your website where you have your other icons and make sure that you've added Pinterest. Always double check those links and make sure that you're linking it correctly okay you don't know how many times I go to somebody's website and I want to connect with them and I click and those are broken links so please please always double check your links I know one way you can get a follower and that's to I mean come follow me I will follow you back and I'm pinterest.com wedding site 411 pinterest.com wedding site 411 so go ahead and um you know, follow me, and as you can see, I pretty much click through and I follow back, so that'll grow your followers. Okay, so tip number nine, that's how you can get some followers. And tip number ten, is you know what, it's social media, guys, so I kind of wrapped two tips into one, but make sure you're being social and make sure you're being consistent. You know, social media can be a huge time waster if you let it be. I mean, oh my gosh, I could get on Pinterest and just be lost for hours. It's weddings. I love it. I'm in heaven. Everything's so gorgeous and pretty, and I, I literally could just get lost. So I come in with a game plan when I'm here to just do business. And I say, okay, I'm going to go follow 20 or 30 new um, wedding-related people. I'm going to, you know, repin one or two things to every one of my boards, whatever that looks like for you. Come up with your marketing game plan for Pinterest and then stick to it. Be consistent. Remember that home stream is just like a Facebook news feed or a Twitter stream, right? The more you're pinning and the more often you're pinning, the more you're going to show up here on this page. Okay. If you're not pinning or repinning, people aren't going to find you. Now here's, you know, one of my pins. And, you know, if I were doing this even once an hour, I guarantee I would grow my following. I'd get repins. I'd be getting, you know, comments and get action here. And that's what we want if you want to use this. But somebody who's going to go pin 100 things in a day and then not touch it again in a week or two, you're not going to be very successful, I'm sorry, on Pinterest. You need to be consistent and come with your business hat on and you know if there's time you want to play around on Pinterest by all means do that but this tutorial was on um, <laughs> using Pinterest for business so make sure you're setting aside time to use it for business now again I did mention briefly if you enjoyed uh, this tutorial I do a ton of topics everything from you know search engine optimization to blogging websites basic coding. If you get stuck on something, I can help you with that. And I have, um, we have a brand new exclusive searchable um, database. It's a searchable wedding vendor database. We, I don't know if you're familiar, but we, um, I authored a book called the Destination Wedding Survival Guide. And why that matters to you is I give this book away for free to brides. So I drive traffic on several different sites. Um, as I use an opt-in to give this book away for free to brides, they get on my mailing list and then I have a series of emails that go out to them where I'm befriending them and they get to know, like, and trust me. They send me email questions. They thank me for all the information 
And that matters to you because I'm your new best friend. I have a list of brides who are looking for vendors. They're planning their wedding actively. So you want to come on to our site at the destination wedding site.com and make sure that you get on my list um, as a vendor. We have a vendor list and then I send you emails out um, you know, and let you know if a bride's looking for something specific or if we have a great post that you should come interact on. Um, but again, I'm starting to send brides more and more to our searchable database. They can go there and search by city, state, country, keyword, category, even language or any combination thereof and find the type of vendors who they're looking for. It's awesome. The feedback's been phenomenal. We just launched it. So the price is $20 a month, but right now during our launch, guys, um, and this is only for a short time, we're offering it for $4.95 a month. That's $4.95 a month. And if you're listening to this and we've already raised it, $20 is still a bargain, I promise you. But for under five bucks, um, I'm afraid that I priced it so low it almost undervalues it. Please understand the amount of work and time um, that we're doing to promote this. So it's going to be a huge hit and you want to get in and get locked in at that price now. Um, we are setting up our member and community area there where we're going to have a forum and all kinds of tutorial videos like this one. But on every marketing topic imaginable. There's no way you could get that five bucks a month. You better understand that's a steal because most membership sites with the type of content that will be available there and the one on one attention for me on that forum would cost you upwards of 100 to 200 dollars a month for those type of um, mastermind sites. OK, so please don't be fooled by the tiny little price tag. I would get in now while you can uh, for that five bucks, because once I take that away, I'm definitely not uh, going to be going back to that. Um, Anyways, I will wrap up the video with some slides at the end with the information I told you I would post. I will also put my email there, so please contact me if you have any questions whatsoever. I love networking with other wedding professionals. I hope you found this helpful. And um, let's connect on Pinterest. Remember, Pinterest.com slash wedding site 411. Um, I would love to connect with you. All right, I'm going to sign off. For now, that's Suzanne Franco with the Destination Wedding Site, and you were listening to my top 10 tips for wedding professionals on using Pinterest for business. And by the way, if you enjoyed this, please pass the word on. Send some others and let them come benefit from this as well. All right. Take care.